Good afternoon, everyone. This is Naishad Gadani coming to you from uh, lockdown Victoria. Yes, we are in lockdown and probably the whole east coast of, of Australia is in currently in lockdown. So we are going to bring some optimism, some fun and some joy on this Friday, at least in Melbourne. It's a gloomy day outside. It's a bit overcast. I don't know if it's, if it's going to rain. But yes, we are back on your LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you are watching this. This is the episode 217. And this is uh, world's lad, world's biggest running show of on LinkedIn. <laughs> uh, Something like, we like that. To call Best it. show. Yeah, that's how we like to call that. You know, just floating an ego on Friday afternoon. Uh, and um, yeah, and, and we are today we are talking about TikTok resumes. Now, who would have thought Gen Xers talking about TikTok resumes, right? Uh, but here we go. Uh, the world has changed. And that means that we got to do what the employers or the world really wants. So, you know, we are going to talk about TikTok resumes. But it's an important way for you to find a job, you know, expand your personal brand using a very creative platform. Uh, obviously, most TikTok is probably downloaded more than 2 billion times. Uh, that's considering that's 33% of world's population. That's a big deal, by the way. Uh, you know, and if you're, you know, not if you're living under the rocks, you should probably go and download TikTok. It's fun, but it's also addictive too. So make sure that you, uh, you know, you put some, you know, uh, what we say, some alarm, you know, tell somebody that you, you know, it's been dinner time and you've been watching TikTok since lunch. Um, so, so just to, just to make sure it's quite addictive too. And when I talk to my son, who is 15 years old, he's in year 10, I say, we are going to talk about TikTok. So if you see a comment on there, he's, uh, you know, he's already commented that he's there and probably his friends who are what we call millennials or, I don't know. <laughs> Gen Z, Gen, I don't know, X, Y, Z. Gen whatever, yeah. Yeah, that's right. So they will also be here and hopefully they will ask questions and be nice to us, um, you know, rather than asking some crazy questions. And and uh, and before we introduce our, you know, great guest, she's going to talk about TikTok resumes and the importance of it. Let's welcome Caroline Brown. Thanks, Nash. And I'm actually really excited to talk about this because just in general, video CVs and video applications have become a bigger and bigger thing. So I think people really struggle with that. And I guess, you know, I know that it probably targets a much younger demographic than us, but we're kind of the demographic that are doing the recruiting a lot of the time. Um, so it's good to give that lens to the, the discussion as well. So, Danielle, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. I'm up here in beautiful, sunny Queensland. It's still quite warm, despite the fact that it's winter here. Um, and yeah, it's uh, my pleasure to come along and talk about um, TikTok resumes. Uh, so generally speaking, you mentioned the millennial category, so the Gen Y category. Um, for myself, I am an older Gen Y. Um, I just make it into that bracket there. Um, but generally speaking, um, you know, we're still sort of targeting around the Gen Z, you know, so a bit, fair bit younger than me there. But, um, you know, as you said before, we are generally speaking, the people who are doing the recruiting. So it's so important that, um, you know, we do engage with contemporary platforms like this. So we can, you know, first make sure that we have contemporary uh, recruitment practices so we can reach those um, demographic that we're trying to target. And, you know, it's so important also for our professional development to sort of, you know, um, you know expand our knowledge on these things as well. Mm, fantastic. Tell us how a TikTok resume works because I know they've piloted I just saw the news release and I read your blog post. Um, but how how does it work? Yeah, so um, they started the process with a pilot. So it's a video uh, resume pilot program at the moment. So it started, I think, must have been the start of July um, and the pilot closed on the 31st of July. So it ran for um, about a month. Um, so basically speaking, um, there's sort of two ways to engage with TikTok resumes. So the first way is to create a TikTok resume, um, broadly speaking, not pitch to a specific job, um, a more of a general elevator pitch, if you like. Um, and then you post it, post it using the hashtag TikTok resumes. And then what's that that is designed to do is any recruiter who might be sort of, um, you know, searching for someone who might fit 
their requirements, sort of, you know, scrolls through the hashtags, if they find a video that they like, they, you know, look for more information, and then they might reach out to the person who has created the video and um, let them know about an employment opportunity. Wow. Um, so it's sort of like that that cold calling, um, you know, cold leads type of approach. Uh, the second approach is more targeted. So um, on a TikTok, there is a website called TikTok Resumes, um, which is there to support the program. And it's almost like a job board, if you like. So um, participating uh, businesses and organisations um, post a job advertisement. They're almost similar to Seek and Indeed and those sorts of sites. Um, and then a, a potential candidate can go through that and search for jobs. And so, for example, if they find something they're interested in, they would then make a, a TikTok video, which, which is a bit more targeted. So, you know, they might um, tailor it to the job requirements that they've found. Um, again, post it very similar to the first option using the hashtag TikTok resumes. Um, and then once they're ready to officially apply, then they go to the job link on the job board um, and then fill out their details and they can post a link to their specific video. So it's kind of more akin to a formal job application, if you like. Fantastic. And you've been digging deep into the hashtags of resumes on TikTok. What have you seen? What have people been doing? Oh, there is some fantastic stuff out there. Um, so I Look, I've seen a huge range of things. It's really difficult to um, give a general overview, I think, of what I've seen. So I might sort of do um, talk about a two different types of videos, what I would think is an ideal TikTok resume and what is um, not an ideal TikTok <laughs> resume. <laughs> so I, I might start with the ideal one. So um, generally speaking, these are they're really short, they're sharp and they're concise. So they might be, say, a minute long. Um, one minute is sort of, I guess, one of the the standard um, TikTok videos um, that's supported. So you sort of have your fifteen minute, um, sorry, fifteen second videos, your one minute videos, and then your three minute videos as well. So I've seen um, a video resume that was a minute long. Um, it was very concise. So the person introduced themselves. They talked about what they're currently doing, talked about their background, uh, talked about the skills that they've got um, and qualifications, and that was it. And it was. It was very, very um, concise and articulate. Um, the person also had some really interesting backgrounds. So um, some of it was just a, a, a plain background. And then when the uh, candidate was talking about her experience, she um, uh, took a, a screenshot of some Instagram, an Instagram account that she had run, and she put it on her background as to demonstrate, um, you know, some of her work, which I thought was really, really effective. She didn't have it as a background for long because. I think that would detract um, from the messages because it was quite busy, but it just worked perfectly as an example of um, you know her her digital skill, her digital marketing skills, and her social media skills, which was applicable to the job that she was applying for. Mm -hmm. um, she also uh, did have on-screen text, but she kept that to a minimum. So when she had that text, it was to highlight what she was saying. So when she was talking about the list of skills that she had, she mentioned her five top skills. And so as she was saying it, the skills were popping up on the screen just to emphasize that, which I thought was a really good um, touch. Uh, mm -hmm. She also um, did did have some background music, but it was very, um, it didn't detract from what she was saying. Um, it was very soft, if you like. It wasn't loud and noisy and had a, a really a really good beat. Um, it also fit really well into the flow of what she was saying. So she was kind of talking to it. So when, you know, she lists, again, when she listed those skills, it was kind of a beat to a skill. So it was very in sync, um, but yeah, didn't, didn't detract from her message at all. Um, so I think that was a, a really good example of how it worked well. Um, when it didn't work so well was an example where um, the message was uh, quite off um, off track, I think. So it wasn't specifically targeted to a job opening as far as I could see. Um, there were um, a lot of personal details in there, such as a star sign, for example, which I don't think is, is a good fit for a, a resume. Um, so that was quite interesting. Yeah. So it sounds like, oh, Nish, do you have a question? Because I'm just firing them off, basically. No, 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 please go ahead. Please go ahead. Yeah. So it sounds like the same. We've got a couple of questions from uh, Sangeeta and TJ, which we'll jump on in just a second. But it sounds like it's sort of the same kind of prep that you might do for a normal 
normal, if there's anything normal anymore, resume in terms of what you what is relevant to an employer and then that kind of the prep around what you're going to put on on the TikTok video. Is that, would you suggest that's the case or uh, to yes, make a good one? Absolutely. Yeah, so yeah. TikTok themselves have actually come out with a list of recommendations. Um, yeah. So I do have them here, which I might go through because I, I do think that they're very good. Um, and yeah. then I might add a couple of on my own in terms of, you know, the whole, you know, that's contextual to, to job search. Yeah. Um, so they've sort of, you know, they've talked about highlighting what they can offer an employee, their job experience. But um, TikTok have actually suggested that people include their passions as well, which I think is very interesting. Um, mm. You know, as career development practitioners, there's a lot of debate about whether you should include um, interests and hobbies on your resume. So that kind of plays into that, I think. Um, they're also very uh, clear in saying don't include your last name or email address. And this is a very important point because mm. if you want your... TikTok video to work as a TikTok resume, it must be put on public so people can search for you. And mm. then, of course, if you provide that link with a job opening, the people who are re reviewing it must be able to find the video as well. So there's, you know, that obviously the aspects of the privacy concerns. So it mm. is very important to consider, um, you know, what you're going to put into it. Um, also keeping in mind, you know, generally speaking with with resumes, we would include, um, you know, work history, and that includes the organisations the, where you've worked in the past. So if you're getting down to detail like that, it, it may be able to, you know, there are concerns about being able to be identified. Um, mm. So that's one sort of flag that's important to keep in mind. Um, they're really keen on um, letting your personality shine through. And this is a really great um you know, example, because I saw that, I saw that in the videos I reviewed, um, because it's, when we're sort of getting into content creation, it's, it's so unique, it's, it's really unique to each person. So, you know, it really does have capacity for that. Um, uh, again, they've got the point about the background music, make sure it, it doesn't detract from the message, um, film your video ver 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 <laughs> vertically, <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Um, they also talk about, you know, getting creative and encouraging people to use the platform's um, tools and features as well, which I did see people do. Um, I guess, you know, when we're sort of looking at that, it's important to keep, um, you know, professionalism in mind and ensuring that those tools and features don't, again, detract from your message. So, you know, uh, with the example I mentioned before about having a little bit of text coming up as you're listing your skills is, I think, is a handy thing to do. Um, would I include stickers and gifts and all that kind of stuff? I, I probably wouldn't. Um, also, one thing I, mean, I forgot to mention before is um, in terms of how it can work to attract um, recruiters, you can actually tag organisations that you're interested in working for as well, which I think is really important if you're, um, you know, not applying for a specific specific job opening, you're just looking to, um, you know, f to find someone who might be recruiting. Um, so that's sort of, I guess, TikTok's general guidelines that they've posted. But I think for me, um, I would also be considering um, or keeping in mind the general principles if you're doing a, a video interview. Um, so things like, you know, being mindful of your background, making sure that, you know, it is um, professional, if you like. Um, also with your um, attire and appearance as well, ensuring that, you know, you are sort of giving up a, a professional, um, uh, you know, message, if you like. Uh, also, um, you know, background, so not just, you know, video background noise, but background noise that might be going on in your house or um, your workplace as well. Um, and just obviously ensuring that people can hear you clearly, um, they can sort of see you as well. You've not sort of, you know, cut off half your face or something like that. Uh, yeah, so there, there's lots, to, even though it is just a one short one minute or three minute video, there's lots to keep in mind. Mm, absolutely. I'm now getting worried about because I promised to make a TikTok resume. I'm literally getting worried about what to do and what not to do <laughs> with this because uh, no, no, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Well, as you a need challenge. Danielle's coaching, Nish. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I think she's given. She's given in last ten minutes. She's she's given heaps of knowledge on exactly. that one, right? So I think that's really great. Um, let Let's handle the question. So uh, TJ. Uh, is asking which companies are using requesting the TikTok resumes. Have you, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not familiar with any Australian company, but I think 
probably uh, you know there might be some some organizations who would be looking at not probably not azio is looking for any candidates on tiktok <laughs> but uh, but do you know any companies who are you know kind of recruiting using this model yeah uh, when i had a, a quick look online so on the job board it wasn't easy to see the name the company so i could just find um the job title um what i can tell you in terms of location so the program pilot was only open to us based businesses so if um there is a company that's solely based in australia um i don't think you would see that um at this point in time uh I guess I, I can go through a list of um, job roles. So that might give you a bit of an idea mm. rather than the actual organisation. So, and keeping in mind, this is not a complete list. Um, there were many, many job postings, which went over, say, 24 pages. So it was very popular, but we'll just stick with the job title. So there were things like social media, media strategist, um, application developer, a digital marketing account manager, a business development executive, uh, art director, brand ambassador, sales assistant type positions, uh, client services executives and managers, a copywriters, a graphic design, a data analyst, a hairstylist even, um, recruiters, and so many more. So as you can see, it's a really broad type of roles. We've got, um, you know, data roles, we've got, uh, you know, hairstylists or hairdressers we've got you know social media and digital marketing which is probably an obvious one which you'll find but i was really surprised about the the breadth of skills there um you know copywriters um yeah goodness there were so many so many it's interesting because you would think that you know the platform attracts extrovert extroverts people that are comfortable being out there and putting putting themselves out there but some of those jobs like I guess copywriter or data analyst you uh, stereotypically would be maybe more quiet quieter types of people um that, so yeah really, really interesting, interesting range yeah, yeah absolutely yeah um, okay, so uh, Sangeeta says, how interesting businesses usually promote themselves on TikTok to reach their target market. Using it for promoting your skill set as a professional is pretty cool, but I wonder how a professional might target the right audience to get the eyeballs. That's an excellent question. Yeah, absolutely. So it, it sounds what you... Um, what you're asking is, so I wonder how professional might target the right audience to get the right eyeballs. Yeah, it's um, that is an extremely good question. Look, with the amount of resumes that's already on there, it is absolutely overwhelming. So I think that I, if I was a, a professional looking to find, um, you know, my new employee, I would probably try and search for different types of hashtags as well, which might be relevant to my industry. Um, that's that's probably to be honest all i can think of at this point um i would probably likely be joining the program and inviting people to apply i think um because the sheer numbers is just absolutely overwhelming so i think that is one thing um if tiktok resume pilot does go ahead um I would probably like to see some kind of um, either hashtag or other type of approach which can sort of try to filter the resumes for sure mm. It's interesting. So if I've I've done my TikTok resume, I've hashtagged it, I've done my creative bit. <laughs> um, I'll have a channel, won't I? Like I'm, I haven't used TikTok, so you can tell that I'm a little bit ignorant. But so, you know, you, you have like a Twitter feed, you have your Twitter followers and all your tweets that go out. On LinkedIn, you've got your activity and that they all go out. So if somebody sees my TikTok resume, are they then going to go and have a look at what else I put up on TikTok? as well like that you'd have to create curate something that's professionally relevant to you know you might be have your professional version of your resume and then be doing whatever else you do on a skateboard with a bottle or do you know what I mean like you want those yeah. things to be really kind of aligned absolutely yeah and and that brings us to a really great point so I think with um the TikTok resumes I would be more inclined to say they're an elevator pitch rather than a full yeah. resume. So, you know, given yeah. that you've only got 15 seconds, one minute, three minutes to get your message out there, it's absolutely impossible to cover everything that you would put in a traditional resume, even if mm. it was a brief resume, say um, two pages, for example. So I think um, the key thing here is to not use TikTok resumes in isolation, but mm. keep it 
know, in your tool bag as one of your job searching tools. Um, mm. So that's that's really crucial because when we you know do apply for jobs, quite often it's not just a, a resume that gets us a job. You know, mm. we need to submit cover letters, um, selection criteria responses, um, all that kind of thing. So yeah, I would think of it as just one tool in your job search toolkit. I think. Mm. And assume that people are going to get one if they're interested in you. They'll go searching um, on other platforms and and so forth. Yeah, that's right. yeah. I think so. Um, I certainly would be inclined to share on other platforms, particularly LinkedIn. So the good thing about TikTok um, is that it plays really nicely with other social media platforms. So you know, mm -hmm. I've seen people share it certainly on um, you know Facebook, Instagram. Uh, Pinterest as well. So you could share it certainly on LinkedIn um, and you may even include a post with your TikTok resume and a link to, um, you know, a blog where you might have, um, you know, some an e-portfolio or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah, I think I think you, we might see, you know, right now on the resume, we see a LinkedIn profile link on that. I think shortly we might see a TikTok there as well. Absolutely. Go and click. But I think the more or less uh, to to what Sangeeta's question is, is that you know it is just if you're if you're there just simply to create a resume and then don't do anything, I think you'll probably not get the traction required because of the sheer volume and the you know the millions of people who are doing it. It's kind of you know having a consistent effort just on link, just similar to how you would do on LinkedIn if you want to get some traction some attention from the hiring manager say you got to really comment talk about things which makes uh, you know which makes you kind of a go to expert on certain things and that's what gets hiring manager to companies takes a notice of that oh yeah you know what he or she continues to talk about it you know I, i'll probably reach out to him or her in the due time similar to I think we, we still have to curate and make content. And I think that's that's the thing to also understand is that, you know, you know, curate, you know, ultimately it will boil down to also that how well do you curate your content and what's your what's your message out there, right? It, it, obviously, it's, you know, it's far different than uh, than LinkedIn. You, you know, you are also showing your personal side as well about your personality. And that's what really makes TikTok, you know, pretty interesting. In terms of, you know, do I've never used it and I'm going to use this on the weekend, but tell me, so are there templates available on TikTok? Have you seen like templates that I can, you know, go and say resume templates and then I can, you know, type few things and, you know, create a facial expression and that's how it works? <laughs> <laughs> I I haven't seen any templates. So I believe that there are templates to create other videos. I haven't seen any specific resume templates, but for those online, if you have, please let me know. I may have missed it. Um, the yeah, it's in terms of you know TikTok sort of facilitating or giving giving you a hand with those videos. Um, there's really not a lot out there that, as I mentioned before, they do provide some guidelines on their website, which um, you know I've sort of read through a portion of them about how to create a um, you know an ideal uh, resume. Um, I think we we we're going to discuss tools, so I guess that that's sort of a really good segue to tools. So yeah. with TikTok, res with TikToks, you can actually upload pre-recorded um, videos as well, which I found really interesting. And I think if I was going to take that approach, um, create a TikTok resume, I would probably be looking at that, and I was a bit more comfortable on camera. Um, so really, there's a potential here to create some really high quality videos if you have the tech to do it so you might have a really good um, camera at home you might be really comfortable in setting up lighting or something like that so potentially you could pre-record um, a video upload it to TikTok and then you know you've got the opportunity to use um, the the other tools and features so put some background um, you know music you can also do voiceovers um, look there's there's so many options that they're, they're almost endless so that's it's just such a great opportunity to um, let your create creativity um, show um, and yeah just I guess try to balance your creativity um, with the a more professional approach I think would be the key how much do you think this is just sort of a opinion type thing um, you know, it's taken a long time for people to even get onto LinkedIn, right? 
like the average professional using LinkedIn and also from an employer point of view starting to to use LinkedIn to recruit staff so what about just in terms of like in the Australian employment market and recruiters and do you think they're going to you know explore the channel and and start to make it work for them how long do you think that would take for people to use it as a recruiting tool here yeah that's a really really interesting question um it's it's very very difficult to compare um you know the Australian, what goes on in the australian labor market to the us mm. so i guess we we do have a bit of data um from us and, and quite possibly over other countries um about their usage on tiktok um mm. As I mentioned before, you know, there's there's over 300 million views of the tick of the TikTok resume hashtag. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, it is most certainly taking off. Um, I guess, in my own personal opinion, um, we do seem to, I guess, be late adapters over here in Australia when it comes to things like this. Um, you know, considering that I've seen, you know, some shops in Westfield that still have signs outside saying, you know, vacancy, you know, people handing in paper resumes still, you know, and, and that's, you know, that's completely fine. But I just think that, you know, we can be late adapters here, adopters, so um, it may very well take some time. Mm. Having said that, though, I think that this is a fantastic opportunity for those businesses who are early adopters. So mm. if you are comfortable on that platform, if you consider yourself an early adopter and your target market, Gen Z, is on that platform, I most certainly would be um, be looking at how, you know, you can leverage that opportunity. Because it'd be a great way to use just as if you're an employer to use a video to go, hey, these are great reasons to work for us and you can ask me any question or, you know, that kind of like employment channel where you give people an idea about a job or a workplace or that would be a great way to make it two-way, wouldn't it? Yes, absolutely. Um, so, you know, we've sort of talked about how popular the platform is and just mm. anecdotally I know um, hearing around the traps that, you know, it is very popular with um, as young Australians as well. So I think the key would be there is if you're going to engage in the platform that way is to be very specific about, um, you know, the, the type of employee that you're looking for, you know, so you would try and pitch it to an Australian market. Um, and yeah, it would, I, I just think it's a fantastic opportunity. And I'd love to hear from anyone who um, has engaged with it that way. Mm. Absolutely. Stuart Little says, love this idea. Uh, expanding the LinkedIn cover story. Yeah, fantastic. Mm. Yeah, no, that's absolutely true. I think um, I've still seen those ads out there. If if those retail shops would say, you know, scan here and put your resume or, you know, just, just give us a one minute elevator pitch. And I think that's that's very important to, to talk about. A lot of people have used LinkedIn and created video CVs on LinkedIn to, to get attention. We, in fact, had somebody who's LinkedIn resume, LinkedIn, uh, you know, he posted a video, very creative engineer who posted that video, had hundreds of thousands of views on that. Now, the thing to understand is that, you know, he did not end up getting a lot of job offers out of it, but people were absolutely glued to the creativity that he's shown on that. And he did it by himself. So that was like super, super good. And, and uh, you know, I think that's what this allows you to do. We all talk about personal brand. We all talk about, you know, you got, you got to differentiate yourself, right? You got to you know be distinct from each other tiktok is one way for you to to differentiate yourself and and also that you know tagging companies as well i think that's where i think you know daniel talked about is that you can tag companies and say come and watch this because they might take an interest people like if if you look at you know canva for example or shopify or you know those e-commerce and kind of digital space companies they would be looking at their uh, you know mentions or who's tagging them somebody will be looking at that and finding and curating that and you know feeding into into you know someone uh, you know up the value chain to to really find talent or find great stories and everything else so i think it's a it's a worthwhile shot while as you know to daniela's point is that it is one tool in the whole 
toolkit that you have just not you don't you just just don't rely on TikTok and say I'm not going to apply for a work well probably you might be retiring on uh, you know you know on, on the savings that you have but you you got to you got to have that as one uh, you know tool out of all the toolkits uh, that you uh, that you can have so uh, Stuart says the TikTok uh video can uh then become part of your linkedin profile too yes i've seen that i've seen some of the videos uh daniel i, I don't know whether do people take screenshot screen you know sh uh, kind of you know screenshot of that and then share that or is there a straight plugin that you can actually share that across linkedin or other social media pages uh, yeah, possibly. It, it would be quite easy to take a screenshot of your video. Um, you know, you can also use tools to um, make uh, thumbnails as well, similar to what, um, you know, people do for linked, uh, sorry, uh, YouTube videos as well. Um, I think you can share it directly, though. Um, I have seen people share directly um, to Instagram and, and Pinterest and other platforms as well. So I, I think it, um, it plays very nicely with other uh, social media platforms. It's interesting because when I was um, putting up the post on um, or setting up the StreamYard, you know, we broadcast live to LinkedIn, Facebook and YouTube. I just did a YouTube search for TikTok videos and I thought I wasn't, I didn't think I'd see anything. But within that month, there's, I think, about 400 searches for TikTok videos on YouTube, which means that I guess, you know, people are looking at different, different ways to um create a video but looking at different ways to improve their videos and and cross promote and all sorts of things so yeah it's really interesting the way that people will use it across different platforms i think absolutely and um when i was searching through um you know the hashtag tiktok resumes what i found was also um you know career development practitioners um providing yeah. advice about how to build tiktok resumes on tiktok as well as you know more traditional type um you know assistance so you know how to do a traditional resume um how to you know do a traditional job interview and so forth as well so um it's yeah it's a very popular platform which a lot of people a lot of people <laughs> are leveraging <laughs> No, I we need to broadcast to that's TikTok. right i think i think career <laughs> yes, care package available on career care package available now on tiktok uh in short you know, one minute bursts <laughs> we need to get snappier <laughs> yeah absolutely and i think tj says that i think people relate to tiktok as something for younger people i think uh, you know my son my eight year old comes to me before the linkedin live and said dad you're talking about tiktok i said yes he said, you never <laughs> allow us to watch tiktok and you're talking about tiktok and i he said he said i've always thought tiktok is about dancing and you know and and pranking other people i never thought this way even my 10 year in my year 10 or you know son also says that you know this is i've never seen people doing it but i think i i think this is a great another great way for also tiktok to expand their on uh, you know their user base as tj says and uh, Stuart says, yes, let's do it. Stuart is, uh, you know, in the game to do some career care package, TikTok videos as well. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm, I don't have any more question. I'm really excited to uh, to start my TikTok journey. Daniel, all thanks to you. All thanks to the blog that you wrote, because that's how we, you know, uh, you know, got interested to know more about it. I think you've enlightened us a lot today. I'm telling you, you know, this is a completely new, uh, you, know, new you know, a minefield to uh to go into but thank you again daniel you've been absolutely fascinating and your tips and you know the research that you've done is so spot on so thank you again for being so generous and coming on our show oh it was my pleasure thank you very much um yes most certainly watch this space i don't think we've heard the last of TikTok resumes um as i mentioned before the pilot is currently closed um however they are actually taking expressions of interest for the next round for participating companies. So um, I think that's a pretty good indication that we might see a bit more of this in the future. Fantastic. It's interesting that I just wanted to jump back to just something that Nash said. Nash found you talking on TikTok because you've put something out there in the world of social media in terms of your blog and, and things like that. So, you know, all of these tools are a great way to actually create bring bring the right people to you and um, you know create curate your own your own network as well so yeah thank you so much for joining us it's been absolutely fascinating thank you for inviting me along
It's been great. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please follow us. Um, sorry, subscribe. I get my followers and subscribers. <laughs> please subscribe on YouTube. Please follow the hashtag Career Care Package. And what are we doing next week, Nish? Uh, we don't know yet. Um, that might be a surprise. As we <laughs> something great. Do it. Something great. Absolutely something mind-boggling. But we should also you know, tell all of our audience that uh, me and Caroline have developed a card game for job seekers. It's called Cards Against Insanity. So we are going to help you uh you know fun way to find work network uh in expand your network and also get some great ideas as well about job search and we'll be launching that in the next couple of weeks so do watch the space it's going to be really fun talking about job search it, we won't we will make job search uh fun drive rather you than boring that's right that's right <laughs> yep. so we will talk about yeah. that more in coming weeks but once again thank you very much everyone if you are in queensland Victoria, New South Wales, mask up. We are still not out of the woods. And have a great weekend, everyone. We'll see you again on next Friday, 12 p.m. Bye for now, everyone. Bye. Bye.